Hi, my name is Rochelle. I'm 63 years old, and I'm here to tell you about my experience with OsteoK. I've been losing bone for several years, and I was finally diagnosed with osteoporosis. I have several risk factors for the disease. Uh, number one, my mother had it. Um, she had a large dowager's hump. She was kind of bent over, and finally she broke a hip. I'm also very small boned, and I think worst of all, I have to take steroid medications for the rest of my life for a chronic disease. These steroid medications cause bone loss and they can increase the risk of fracture by 200 percent. My doctors have been pressuring me to take osteoporosis drugs, but I kept refusing. I had read all the horror stories and heard stories about women who were taking these drugs and had horrible side effects. And contrary to what they tell you on the TV commercials, after doing research, I also learned that these drugs, when taken long term, actually increase the risk of fracture by making the bones more brittle. So I knew I didn't want to take these drugs, but I wasn't quite sure where to go from there. I had been taking calcium and vitamin D, I had altered my diet somewhat, and I also had joined the gym. And for over a year I had been exercising regularly and lifting weights because I know that that helps to strengthen bone. But after a year, a bone density scan showed that I was still losing bone. Then one day my husband came home with one of those free magazines that you get at the health food store. And in it was an article by Dr. Neustadt about vitamin K24 and how it builds and strengthens bone and how taking 45 milligrams a day of K24 can be very beneficial. In the article it also said that vitamin K24 in 45 milligrams a day was the approved treatment for osteoporosis in Japan since 1995. After reading the article and learning about OsteoK, I went on the NBI website and I ordered a year's supply. I started taking OsteoK in January of 2010. Sometime after that, I went on the NBI webinar and I read about women like myself who decreased their risk of fracture by 87% by taking 45 milligrams a day of vitamin K24, calcium, and vitamin D. This was a two-year study uh, that was done on uh, os women who were diagnosed with osteoporosis. After almost a year of taking OsteoK, I was now ready for my next bone scan. At this point, all I was hoping for was that my bones were no worse than they were last year and that the scores would be the same. When my gynecologist called me with the results, I was astounded. Not As I just said, I was astounded when my gynecologist gave me the results. Not only had I not lost any more bone, but I had gained bone in all areas, especially in the spine. My doctor couldn't believe it. In fact, he said he thought that the results could be explained by human error. He just couldn't accept the fact that I had reversed my bone loss without taking toxic drugs and that I had absolutely no side effects from the OsteoK in the whole time that I was taking it. I am hoping that after another year of taking OsteoK, my bones will be even better. I encourage anyone who is losing bone and doesn't want to take the osteoporosis drugs to try OsteoK. I hope it works as well for, for you as it did for me.